Hey everyone, my name is Abhishek and welcome to Motion Nations. And in today's video, we are going to create this. So this stylized metallic text animation is created in After Effects without using any third-party plugin. And you can use this technique to create any kind of text. So before I begin, if you guys are new here, then please consider subscribing and make sure to press that bell icon so that you never miss another amazing video like this. So without wasting any further ado, let's jump into After Effects and get started. Alright, so right now I'm in After Effects and as always, let's create a new composition. Let's call this text width and height 1920 by 1080 frame rate 30 FPS and duration you can go with whatever you want. Just click on OK. Now in this comp, we are going to write our text. So select the text tool and just click and you can type whatever you want. For this example, I'm going to type Batman and let me just quickly select the text and let's align this into the center of this composition. So if you are not able to see this align panel, then you can go to windows and from here you can enable it. Also, let's select this and let's increase its size. Something like this. And you will notice that I'm using this Panthera font and it's completely up to you. You can pick whatever font you want. So let's go with this font. Again, let's align this into the center of this comp just like this. So now let's create another composition. So let's go to composition, new comp and let's call this main. Let's click on OK. Now we can drag our text into this and first we are going to create a gradient. So for that, let's create a new composition. Let's call this gradient texture. Just click on OK. And once you have selected the shape layer, you can just simply click inside the comp. And if you double click on the shape layer, so you can see that it has created a rectangle, which is of this composition size. Now let's add some gradient to this. So for that, we can click on this fill. And after that, let's select the gradient. Just click on OK. Now we are going to move these endpoints. So let's select this one and let's move it to the top and let's select this one and let's move it to the bottom. Now we are going to edit our gradient. So for that, let's click on this gradient. Now I'm going to add a bunch of different gradient layers. So let me just quickly select this and I'm going to first change its color to something like this. And then I can click anywhere you want and let's change its color to something like this. And let's create one over here and let's make this darker and just keep on doing this and let's have a multiple layers until you have this sort of look now you can click any of these and you can move these diamonds to change the look of the gradient and we can move them closer it's completely up to you however you want you can play around with these and once you're happy with it just simply click on ok and you are done with your gradient now let's go back to the main comp and i'm going to quickly drag a gradient texture and let's place it below our text layer and after that i can select this and let's set this to alpha matte and if you're not able to see this option then you can click over here and from here you can simply select the alpha matte so now you can see we have our text and you can see that now our gradient layer is visible from our text but you will notice that it is not showing much of the colors so for that let's go inside this and let's select this and i'm going to quickly move them somewhere in the middle so we have created this sort of gradient and if I go back to main, you can see that now most of the gradient is visible inside our text. And now let's create some highlight edges onto this. For that, I'm going to select the text comp and let's drag it into this. And I'm going to apply find edges effect onto this. So just search for it and let's drag it over here. And first I'm going to set this to invert. Now we are going to apply one more effect. Let's search for minimax and if you increase the radius you can see that now our edges are more thick and it's completely up to you you can set it to whatever you want but for this example let's set this to two and we are pretty much done with this now let's add some texture to this for that i'm going to again drag a gradient texture and let's drag it below this layer and again i'm going to select this and let's change the track mat to luma mat and you can see that nothing has changed but if i apply turbulent displacement onto this so just search for turbulent displace and if i drag it over here you can see that right away we are able to see some really nice highlight edges just like this and you can play around with these value for amount and scale and you can get different looks and you can also animate it using the evolution so you can see that we will have these really nice animated outlines so let's quickly select this and if you hold on the alt key or option key if you're on mac you can add an expression so let's type time times 25 and now if i play back here you can see that we have this continuous movement of these edges 
which is very nice and let's tweak this more if i select this we can apply glow on top of this so just search for glow and let's apply it onto the gradient layer and you can see that now these are much highlighted we can increase the radius and lower down the intensity to something like this so now you can see that it is looking much better so yeah we are pretty much done with our text now let's add some 3d depth to it for that i'm going to again select the text layer and let's drag it over here and on this one i'm going to apply cc radial blur let's drag it onto this and let's change the type to fading zoom and i'm going to set the amount to something like negative 50 and let's search for curves let's drag it onto this and let's change this to alpha and we can click somewhere in the middle and we can drag this to the very top left edge something like this so now you can see that we have added this depth and you can control the depth by simply decreasing this amount so let's set this to somewhere around here now you can see that it's completely white and we are going to add some texture to this again we are going to select the gradient texture and let's drag it below this and after that we can select this and set this to alpha matte so right away you can see that we have added some depth now let's tweak this to make it look better so first i'm going to drag the curves effect and i'm going to make this a little bit darker something like this let's add a really nice s curve just like that now i'm going to apply a fractal noise onto this so just search for it let's drag and let's tweak some of the parameters let's increase the contrast and let's decrease the brightness now we can go under the transform and let's uncheck the uniform scaling and we are going to decrease the width and let's increase the height to something like this and right away you can see that we have added some really nice texture over here and we can change the blending mode from normal to multiply and after that we can apply tint on top of it and let's change the map black color to a little bit of gray something like this yeah i think this is looking better we can also increase the contrast and let's make this darker just like that now we can also apply Gaussian blur and you can see that now it's much smoother so we are pretty much done with our text and let's add some glow to this so for that i'm going to add a adjustment layer and on top of this let's apply glow just drag it something like this and let's increase the radius and decrease the intensity something like this now let's select this press ctrl d to duplicate it now let's tweak some of these parameters there you go now we have our metallic text and you can see the before and after of this glow now this is how you can create this kind of animation and if you want to tweak this then you can just simply go inside the gradient texture and you can just play around with the gradient over here and it will give you a different look now there's one more thing that you can do you can also apply turbulent displacement over here just drag it over here and let's increase the amount and let's increase the size and if i go back here you can see that now we have this really nice wavy kind of look and if you want you can increase the complexity just like this now this is something that you can play around with yourself and for now let's just simply disable it and there's one more thing that you can do if you want you can also drag any of the metallic texture into this composition so let's drag this so i downloaded these from unsplash which is a free website so it's completely up to you you can download any of these texture so let's just simply place it somewhere around here let me just scale this down and you can play around with the position so if i go back here you can see now we have added a different look now you can apply curves to this and just change its look and let's make this little bit brighter also you can apply tint if you don't want the colors inside this So there you go now we have created this metallic texture it's completely up to you you can drag any of the metallic texture and it will work just like that now the best thing about this method is that you can easily go inside the text and you can just type whatever you want and if you go back you can see that all the effects are already applied and you can change your text right away 
Now, if you want to animate the text, then you can just simply do this. So you can select the layer. You can count number of characters it has. So this one has four characters. So I'm going to press select this and create four copies by pressing Ctrl D. Now let's select the first one and we are going to create a mask. So let's create a mask around the T so that just the T letter is visible, something like this. Now let's select the second layer and on this one I'm going to create a mask so that the H is visible and let's do this for O as well and let's do the same thing for R just like this. So now we have created four masks and we can just simply turn them to 3D and let's press P for position and let's move the indicator somewhere around here and if I zoom in I can simply add a keyframe and let's go to the very first frame and I'm going to select the T and I'm going to change its C position. So let's move this to the front, something like this. And let me just quickly set this to fit to com and let's move it somewhere around here and let's do the same thing with the edge. Just keep on doing it until none of the characters are visible. Let's select the R and let's do this. Now we can select all the keyframes, press F9 or you can just right click, go to keyframe assistant and from here easy is. Now let's go to the graph editor and if your graph looks different then make sure you are in the edit speed graph not the value graph. Now let's tweak the curves to look something like this and we can also zoom in and let's select the top layers and let's offset them by 5 frames just like this. Now if I play back here you can see that we have our thought text. And if you want to add some rotation to this, then you can right click and let's create a new null object. Let's select all of these and let's parent it to the null. Let's select this, press R for rotation. Let's add a rotation keyframe and let's go to the beginning and we can rotate it however you want. Now let's select this, press F9 and let's tweak this to something like this. So if I play back here, you can see that now we have some rotation to this and we can play around with the keyframes. So there you go. Now we have added our text which has this rotation. So if I go back and play, you can see that all the animations are already applied. So this is how you can create this kind of animations. Now if you want to add some colors to this, then you can search for Tritone. And just simply drag it onto the gradient texture. And after that, you can just play around with these colors however you want. And you can create different kind of looks. Just do the same thing on the this gradient as well and you can probably play around with the values. Just copy this and paste it onto this gradient as well. So this is how you can create these kind of looks and if you don't want you can just simply go ahead with the default metallic look. So I hope you learned something from this tutorial and the project files for these are available on Patreon and if you want you can join my patreon page link for that is in the description below so with that being said my name is abhishek and i'll see you in the next one